Yeah, and Bill, along with talking with the Commonwealth's attorney, getting a hold of new search documents related to this investigation, detailing other items that police found and seized inside that home. Of the 23 new charges facing 52-year-old Michael Hardy, most are drug-related or for the manufacturing or possession of an explosive device, a charge levied nine times. I think this is an awesome example of great teamwork. Henrico County Commonwealth's attorney Shannon Taylor says the charges were reached after a review of what was found inside Hardy's Tuckahoe home following that two-day multi-agency search in mid-March. The evidence was all collected, uh, then going through and sorting through those um, pieces of evidence to include the uh, narcotics and also some of the explosive devices through you know, communications with my office. Police say among what they found was fentanyl, meth and crack cocaine, and Hardy was charged with production of the crack cocaine. New search warrants say police saw the various stages of its production in the home. The warrant also lists all the electronics seized and mentions investigators want to see what's on the many security cameras outside the home that could help with the drug investigation. It also says bomb making materials were found in two places, a cargo trailer and a fortified room on the second floor. Among the items listed were a constructed pipe bomb, an improvised constructed Molotov cocktail, and an IED handbook. Definitely it was a fortress. Meanwhile, Henrico police also met with neighbors of the home on Tuesday night. Lynn Johnson, who lives down the street, says much of the focus was on concerns about the safety for their households. Was there a continued threat? Is there anyone else coming in, as in other drug dealers, possibly surrounding the place or coming uh, looking for whatever. Johnson says she left feeling there were no further safety concerns and credits the police with how they've handled the case. Communicating and uh, keeping everyone up to date, being quite open about the, the investigation. Now, Hardy was arraigned on these new charges this morning and was remaining remains held without bond. His next court appearance will be in mid-April.